Hey guys, this is Ashley here with Panesh Equine and I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy during this absolutely crazy time. Um, we had a bunch of rain this past winter, like a lot, a lot more than usual for Southern California. So uh, I thought we would kind of review some of the blankets that we used because uh, that, that might be helpful to people. I don't know if it's not, but we thought we'd give it a try. So here we go. All right, so this is one of the brands that we got. It's called Tough One. I can't remember what the weight of it is, if it's 600 or 1200, but you can see this one fits her well. It did keep her dry. Dreamer is one of our older horses, so she doesn't really roll around or kick it up or whatever. So this one held, in, held together really nicely. It's got the two straps here, which is like everybody does, and it's got these leg straps that go around the leg. This worked well, but these, they kind of, after a while, loosened up so you could see like they were dragging. And um, this is just your standard two chest buckles, no Velcro. This is another example of these blankets. I don't know how this is still on, but it is. So. It says tough one, and it definitely is tough. Like, you know, he completely shredded it, but it still works, it's still on him. We're definitely gonna be replacing another it. Another one. But it lasted the whole winter, which is really, it's all we needed. Okay. Yeah, you can see another. Right here. This is the next one. This is the brand that we got for the minis. Uh, it's called Derby Originals. If they had these for the big horses, I would have gotten them because these were great. They're very nice and durable. They're very thick. Um, the one thing I did notice on Eeyore's is that after all the storms, these buckles had quite a bit of rust. I don't know why his had a lot of rust and Cookies didn't have as much rust, but it's alright. Um, these have the traditional stomach straps, two leg straps, and the chest straps. Um, after all the storms, this one tail thing did start to come off, but it looks like the stitching popped. It's not like a rip, so that's an easy fix. This is the third type of blanket that we got. Um, and when we were originally ordering these in a mad rush, I thought this was gonna be ridiculous and no one's gonna take this seriously, but these are the ducky blankets. You can see, cute little duckies. Uh, the brand is called Tempest Original. Uh -huh. And these are pretty cool. They actually, yeah, they, they did really well, better than I thought. Um, so these have the traditional two stomach straps and they had an extra Velcro patch in the front. So you see, so that was nice, it made it a little bit more secure and on top of the two straps. So I, I kinda like that. And something cool about this, which I didn't know was an option, is they had a tail strap instead of the leg straps. I like this a lot better because it just didn't, didn't crowd up the legs. It doesn't really hang down if anything happens to it. So that was really nice. And again, kept them really dry. So if I had to pick a, a winner, I would say the duckies, they, I, which is crazy. I never would have thought these would work out, but they did. I really liked them. If we need to order replacement blankets, which we're definitely going to have to, some of these I won't be able to fix because they're just too shredded. But um, if we have to order replacements, I'm going to order these for sure. It's for everybody because they lasted the entire storms. I, we didn't have one tear, nothing. It, these underneath seemed a little sturdier, a little thicker. And, you know, we didn't have any leakages with I, any of the blankets. And, yeah, I can't think of anything wrong to say about the duckies, which is insane. <laughs> so, duckies definitely. And I'll put all the links in the bottom so you guys can find them. And, 